Hey, I'm Cedric Stewart, and today I'm going to give you three tips to prevent winter plumbing disasters inside your home. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, so recently I met with one of the top fire and weather restoration companies in the area, fire, floods, you know, all those kinds of things. And she told me something that was just so unbelievable that I had to immediately come and get this information to you guys. So here we go. The first tip to prevent flooding and disasters associated with below 32 degrees, 10 degrees, you know, negative four, you know, it's getting real cold. The first tip to prevent these winter plumbing disasters is take your temperature and set it to 67 degrees, not 65, not 60. I, I always said 65 and she said, no, she's been in enough of these homes. She said, trust me, 67 degrees. And let's be honest, you don't want to have to call them to clean up flooding in your basement and do mold remediation and all that kind of stuff. I'm sure it'll cost a lot more than it would to raise the temperature two more degrees or 10. So the first tip, 67 degrees is what you set your thermostat at if you plan on being out of the house for any extended period of time. Honestly, every time I leave the house, I lower the temperature to 67 degrees. Number two, Anyone that is going to sell their home in the winter, anyone that is going on a vacation, anyone that's going to be gone for any extended period of time, even the weekend, in the right circumstances, go in the basement or wherever this, this thing is located, find the main water shutoff valve and turn it off. Real simple, okay? And then maybe the weekend is a bit extreme, but if you're going to be out at home for an extended period of time, I mean, you'd be surprised how many people work with real estate agents, not us, that don't tell them you need to do something that will help you prevent these kind of accidents in the winter time. Now, if you have an open house, if you're having people over, you need to have some type of signage up if you are planning on turning off the water because that could create some situations. All right, so consider that. Or you just pay the water bill, excuse me, the electric bill or gas. All right. Number three. Now this one, this is one that people don't talk about. I think most people really don't know. Third tip is going to be if you have a fire hose outside, connect it, unscrew it. So if you have a fire hose that's outside and it's connected, unscrew it. Why do you want to do that? Because that hose, if there's water inside of there, it might freeze and that frozen ice can travel inside and it could cause the pipe to freeze and burst inside your home. Yeah. So you got a hose disconnected, really easy stuff. So just to, just to recap, we're going to lower the temperature to 67 degrees and leave it there. Even if you're just leaving the house to go to work every day. Number two, if you're going to be gone for a while, if you're selling your house or something like that, decide whether or not you want to turn off the main shutoff valve. Definitely if you're going on a vacation or something like that and you still live there. Number three, disconnect your hoses on the outside. All right. 